Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mama Vic channel and those that are new to this channel guys, we talk about cryptocurrencies, the trend of digital currencies and where things are going. I like to talk about real world use cases of cryptocurrencies because when things like this happen guys. Okay, this is my philosophy with, with crypto and what has been going on as far as from, uh, from the time I joined the crypto space way back in 2017. We had this thing called ICOs, which were initial coin offerings. So we, Ethereum was the blockchain that really emerged as a blockchain that has solutions to actual problems. How uh, it, it brought forth a way of, uh, that people could utilize programmers, um, inventors, creators, uh, all kinds of people out there, programmers, uh, all kinds of people uh, could use the Ethereum network to create these things, uh, to leverage smart contracts to create different use cases like decentralized finance and what you're seeing with even the metaverse, the way it's emerging, that's all a part of finance that's in the decentralized space, um, NFTs and all other kinds of use cases like insurance and equities and all kinds of commodities, all kinds of um, structures, all kinds of elements being onboarded onto the crypto space and Ethereum was the one to sort of bring out that technology that that uh, created a dent in the crypto space in the way we see it here. So of course Bitcoin was the first. So the state of crypto, uh, the reason why I don't talk about price a lot on this channel is because it's all good. It's all good when the prices are going up and you see people they refer to as moon boys or I guess moon girls, it's, it's mostly moon boys and you see all these things, TikToks and, all, and so on, uh, people pumping up the prices. Uh, pumping up the markets. Everyone thinks they know what's going on in the market. What I've discovered is that in these markets, it's it's almost it's impossible to know what's going on because what the VCs tell you, the people with a lot of money, the billionaires, what they say, what they let us hear, is not what they're doing in the background. Okay. So, however much they speak positively about the crypto space, there is a very high chance there. Some of them do similar stuff, but they. There are sometimes where news comes out and it shocks us. Let's say maybe uh, Jamie Diamond has said that um, Bitcoin may not rule or Ethereum might be, uh, Ethereum 2.0 will come out. I think Jamie Diamond say, say, said something like that. Of course, we know not to trust such words a lot because you don't know the intentions behind these people. Uh, almost everyone in the crypto space has been a victim of market manipulation. I have. So... The way this happens is that people get excited about projects, they invest at a point they shouldn't be investing, and then they get wrecked. So the people that have been pumping up the market realize that they've made enough profit, they take out all that liquidity they've provided, and the market crashes or the particular token crashes on them. So these are lessons we're learning. We're learning that we're not just, we're playing with the big fish, we're playing with whales, we're playing with sharks, and you know what the government's responses are? Let's regulate this space by enforcement. And I say no. I say let us own our mistakes. Let us learn how to navigate this space. Let this space teach us how to be investors. Let this space teach us how to be patient. Let it teach us how to do due diligence when it comes to research in the crypto space or elsewhere. Because there's so many crypto projects out there to the point that most of these projects have a particular niche they want to tackle. Some of them want to tackle something bigger. I'll give an example. Polygon Network. Their main MO is to scale Ethereum. Dogecoin. Their main MO was let's create a robust cryptocurrency and create it like a joke. Okay. Shiba Inu, let's be the joke of the joke. Um, Avalanche, let us create a blockchain that's more superior or more scalable and, than Ethereum. Polkadot, let's create interoperability I guess that's that's what they're trying to do. Terra, let's have a stable coin that's decentralized. XRP, let's infiltrate the financial market. Hex, I don't know what it is. A successful pyramid scheme? I'm not too sure. Uh, but there's a lot of people holding this. Cardano, smart contracts, and getting in there. Everyone is trying to tackle a particular niche. The blockchain is trying to tackle artificial intelligence. The others trying to go in all kinds of things. Um, uh, democratizing the, the other cryptocurrencies that represent the price of gold, price of dis different commodities. The future is going to be such that all these financial instruments, most of the work is going to be happening in the metaverse, okay? Now, the reason why I've said all this today, the main point I want to make today, when you go to the crypto space, just like anything in life, do your research about a particular project, let it fit within your knowledge space, or if it does not, be sure to go out there and understand their value proposition. 
And once you understand that, be involved in a project not just as a quick get rich quick scheme, but rather being a part of something that you think is extremely important, provides a a real solution to a real problem that exists, then choose to be a part of that. Choose to be a part of the projects that are uh, supporting the movement that you believe in. Okay, so decentralization. Some people like Ethereum because of what it does. Some people like Bitcoin. Some people like Tether. Others do not. The stablecoin because some say it's centralized and indeed because they can control the transactions, they can block wallets. So the crypto space can be exciting, it can be brutal, but all I can say, be careful out there and always have a long-term perspective when you're navigating this space. That's all I wanted to say today, guys. Uh, just a rough uh, um, discussion about the state of crypto and in terms of how you should approach this space. Uh, look at things like smart contracts, DeFi, uh, what projects are really working to be interoperable. In other words, to allow uh, the ecosystems to expand beyond just their niches. Um, people building solutions to real problems in the crypto space okay so that's what we should look out for especially if you want to develop that long-term mindset and to be formed to be uh, deeply formed into the ideologies that we believe in in this space and at least where it's going understanding that the whole financial system is going to be onboarded onto this digital system that is emerging okay in its nascent stages it's going to mature into something extremely powerful all right guys i hope you learned something in this video not, so not anything particularly about a particular project but rather uh trying to remind us of the importance of why we're here okay we let's not forget the uh, the fundamentals decentralization security immutability things like that let us not forget those things and then we shall truly see uh the kind of financial system that we want to see in the future or beyond the financial system all right, everyone, take care. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.